year on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Chicano. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Anthony Lionheart Smith. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? Ready. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be, he knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes in your point. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Ooh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his And now he lands a combination. Oh! 30 total strikes have now landed. Powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Yeah, he's fixed it all up. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by JDS. Nice right and both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landed with a big body. That is as big a strike as he's landed thus far Big, massive shot land. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see all oh, oh, there you go. right there. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, the ground and pound is on point. The hammer fist continuing to find the target here. When you're throwing hammer fist, you are trying to finish the fight. These are not feelers. These are meant to put your foot lights out. This is exactly what he's trying to do. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Five minutes in the books. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy 
that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, round two. He's able to... What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. I'm walking the knocks, one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination. Oh. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 11 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by Knockout Jr. Chicago. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what...